Hey guys, it's Casey or Too Many Meowthas here again. Just making this video today to show you how you can add Bluetooth functionality to your Speedwino ECU or Arduino based ECU for incredibly cheap. Ultimately, it's only going to cost you about $6 plus some solder and some wire, so here's going to be a little guide on that. We're able to add this functionality to our ECU so cheaply because it's an Arduino. Ultimately, you can wire up a Bluetooth module to an Arduino for really, really cheap, just with a Bluetooth module and an Arduino itself. You're going to need the Arduino IDE, of course, if you don't already have this installed. I'll drop a link below. One of the main reasons that we're going to need the Arduino IDE in this situation is because we're going to actually have to reprogram the Bluetooth modules that we order to the correct baud rate, which is kind of like the communication rate between the two Bluetooth devices, essentially. And then we're also going to have to configure kind of like the password for our Bluetooth module, because we don't want, you know, our friend changing our launch, launch control at the line or something stupid like that. And we're also going to have to set the device name for the Bluetooth module as well. But in order to do all that, we're actually going to have to use the Arduino IDE and its uh, serial command to send serial commands directly to the Bluetooth module. Next, it'll be really useful as well if you have some extra Arduino Megas on hand, just because you're going to be soldering wires directly to the back of the Arduino, depending on how you decide to wire up the Bluetooth module. And having a few of these on hand will make it extremely easy in case you ever fry one accidentally, or in case you just want to have other projects. And you'll also want an extra Arduino in case you want to keep one on hand for reprogramming Bluetooth modules as well. But they're technically not required because you could use the Arduino that's already in your Speedwino ECU if you're not afraid of messing it up or if you trust your soldering skills that well. There are actually two different Bluetooth modules that you can use to install on your ECU to add this Bluetooth functionality. You can use an HC05 Bluetooth module or an HC06 Bluetooth module. The one I'm going to be using today is an HC06 just because they're a little bit cheaper, a little bit easier to work with, and it has two less pins that you've got to worry about. But you can go with an HC05 module if you want those extra pins and that extra functionality. You'll notice the HC06 Bluetooth module has four pins on it. And those four pins are going to be VCC, Ground, TX, and RX, which match up to those exact name pins on an Arduino. And as such, it ultimately results in only four wires being needed to wire up a Bluetooth module to the Arduino in your ECU to add Bluetooth functionality. There are a couple of super easy ways to connect to those four pins. Rather than just soldering wires directly to them, you're actually able to grab things called DuPont wires, which are going to be located here, and those actually just clip directly onto those pins, and they can actually clip directly into the Arduino pins on the Arduino board as well. They have male-to-male -male ends, female-to-male -male ends as well, and female-to-female, -female. and you can get 40 pieces of them for 99 cents, so it's an extremely, extremely good deal to just go with these to connect to them. But along with that, you can actually just salvage a, a four-pin connector off of a like a generic PC power supply, like shown here, and you can actually plug the Bluetooth module directly into that. You can salvage one of those from any PC power supply, kind of like one of these, with that, that uh, connector right there in white being the connector that we just saw. So you could grab, you know, a power supply for 20 bucks and cut one of those connectors off. Or you can just buy the DuPont wires for 99 cents and wire it up that way. But once you've gotten those wires, the next thing that you're going to actually have to do is to decide how you're going to wire it up to your Arduino. For long-term use, like in your vehicle, I would go with one of these connectors, like out of a desktop power supply, just because then the pins are going to be a little bit more secure in that plastic housing, since they're all kind of connected together. You could always, you know, electrical tape or find a way to connect your DuPont wires together to make them not want to move at all, but generally this PC connector is going to be the better one to go with, and it's going to work flawlessly. Here we've got a fritzing diagram to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see exactly what connections you'll need to make to connect your HC06 Bluetooth module. In fritzing, they didn't actually have an HC06, so I'm just using an HC05 as a placeholder. We just need to ignore the key and state pins in that situation, since an HC06 would only have four pins. And this diagram right here will be just the four wires that you would need, essentially, to connect up to your Arduino. It's going to be 5 volts to VCC, ground to ground, 
Tx to Rx, and then Rx to Tx. Along with this diagram, I also made one to kind of make it an easier representation of what you'll have to do when you're reprogramming your Bluetooth module. And so the connections in that situation are still going to be really similar. It's still going to be VCC to 5 volts, ground to ground. But then it's actually going to be TX to TX and RX to RX. So the connections are essentially just slip, flipped compared to what you would do when you're normally connecting your Bluetooth module. And then you also have to run the jumper wire that I showed you in the video as well from reset to ground, which actually keeps the Arduino in reset mode essentially, which allows kind of it to act as a um, like a USB uh, interpreter for this Bluetooth module, essentially. I'll leave pictures of these diagrams down below, along with links to everything else as well. Sorry for the slightly weird angle, but it's the best I can do to try and give you guys a, like the best representation I can find. So first, we're just gonna have to put our VCC to five volts on the Arduino, which is going to be right there. VCC to 5 volts. I'll leave a little diagram down below. It's super obvious, obviously, after you watch this. And then ground to ground, obviously. And then you're going to want to take your TX, and you're actually going to want to bring it over to TX on the Arduino. And you're going to want to bring RX over to RX on the Arduino. Now those are going to be the four Bluetooth connections that you'll have to do for the reprogramming. But in order to get our Arduino module to essentially act as a reprogramming module that just kind of lets information go between it, between the computer and the Bluetooth module, we're actually going to have to wire up this little jumper wire between reset and ground pins. So that's just going to be reset on the Arduino board, which is going to be right above the 5 volt or the 3.3 volt pin and then the other end just goes into ground and so in the end what we're left with essentially is one wire from VCC going to 5 volts one wire from ground going to ground and then we're left with TX going to TX and RX going to RX just like that and essentially, once you've done that, you've got your reprogramming Bluetooth module. But now you're going to have to wire it or plug it into your computer. Once you've got your HC06 Bluetooth module wired up to your Arduino using your DuPont wires or whatever method you chose, with the pins matching a VCC to 5 volt power, ground to ground, TX to TX, and RX to RX, you're going to want to open up your Arduino IDE. And this is where you're actually going to be doing the reprogramming of the Bluetooth module. The first step you're going to want to do is make sure that you're actually connected to your Arduino. So you're just going to go up to Tools, and then you're going to go down to Port, and you're going to make sure that you're connected to whichever COM port your Arduino is connected to. And then once you've got that, you're going to go back to Tools as well, and then you're going to go to Serial Monitor. And once you open Serial Monitor, this is basically going to be like a terminal window for your Arduino. Now, in order to reprogram our Bluetooth module, we're going to have to enter a few commands. The first command that you can enter is going to be AT. And once you hit send, it should respond with OK. Basically letting you know that we're in AT mode now. Reprogramming mode. Once you set or once you've set it into AT mode, then you can type AT dash BOD, or my bad, AT plus BOD, and then you're going to choose the number eight for the BOD rate of one one five two hundred. I'll leave information down below as to where I got baud 8 as being that baud rate, but essentially there's just a table that'll show you all of the different baud rates that correspond to a different number that you can put after this command. And when you type in AT plus baud 8, the result is going to be that it's going to change to OK 11 5 200, aka changing the baud rate to 11 5 200, which is going to be the default baud rate for our Speedwino ECU, which is generally basically going to be the speed that our ECU communicates at. So now we've changed it to this baud rate, but let's just go ahead and close this window and reopen it again 
just to make sure that we're now at the correct baud rate. 115, 200. And just to double check, we can send AT again. And it'll respond with OK to let us know that we're in programming mode. So now we know that our Bluetooth module is programmed to the correct baud rate and correct speed for our ECU. But we still want to make sure that it has a different name and a different password so everybody can't get into our stuff, essentially. The next thing you're going to want to do is AT plus name to change the name. And these are going to be all in capitals, of course. And then the name is just going to be whatever you want to choose to make it. So for this one, I'll go with Speedwina, just as an example. Then you hit enter, and you've got your name set. And then the next thing you're going to do is going to be to set a pin. So you're just going to do AT plus pin. And then you have the option to do any four digit pin that you can think of. For example, I'll just do one, two, three, four as a generic one, even though that's the generic pin anyway. And voila, we've now set our pin to one, two, three, four. And just like that, you've reprogrammed your HC06 Bluetooth module to the exact settings that you need to for your Speedwino ECU. Then, once you've got your Bluetooth module reprogrammed, you won't need to put your Arduino in its reset mode anymore. So you can go ahead and take out that jumper wire that was going from reset to ground out. Just that DuPont wire. And then, to wire up your Bluetooth module essentially like it would be wired up in your car, you're going to flip those two connections that were TX to TX and RX to RX and reverse them so it's going to be RX to TX and TX to RX. When you've got your Bluetooth module all wired up in reprogramming mode, it's going to look a little something like this. It'll give you a red flashing light to let it know that it's not paired with any devices, and your Arduino is going to look like it's powered on, essentially. Pretty simple. Once you've got your HC06 Bluetooth module wired up, it's pretty simple to connect to it, just like any other generic Bluetooth device. Here we're going to be in our Windows 10 laptop, just connecting to it in under settings and Bluetooth. And then we're going to be adding Bluetooth or other device, clicking on Bluetooth, and then it should show you all of the discoverable Bluetooth devices in your area. Here we've got Speedwino, which we programmed the name earlier with AT commands. And then in order to connect to it, we have to enter in the pin that we programmed earlier which is going to be one, two, three, four. Go ahead and hit connect, and then voila. Just like that, you've paired successfully to your Speedwino HC06 Bluetooth module. And once you've paired your HC06 Bluetooth module, I've actually found that I had to do one extra step on Windows just to get it to work 110% properly. I'm on Windows 10, but it might be a similar procedure for Windows 7, similar issue maybe. But I specifically had to go under devices and printers in my control panel to speed we know to the Bluetooth device that we programmed earlier. The name would be different or whatever you programmed earlier, obviously. And then if you click on right click on that speed we know device and then click on properties, you'll be greeted with this window. And then if you go down to services, it should list a Bluetooth service for this specific HC06 Bluetooth module, which is going to be serial port SPP. And it'll actually list the COM port that you're going to be connecting to in Tuner Studio to communicate with your Bluetooth device, essentially. But you're going to want to turn that on, essentially, that way it's able to communicate properly with Tuner Studio. Connecting to your HC06 Bluetooth module via Tuner Studio is super simple as well. I've actually got it connected here. In order to connect to it, all you're going to have to do is open up your Tuner Studio project and then go up to Communications in the top left corner, click on Settings, which should open this little window. And then for the connection type, you're going to go with Bluetooth Direct. For the Bluetooth device, you're just going to go with the name of the Bluetooth device that you paired to, the one that you programmed, your HC06 Bluetooth module. And then, once you hit accept, the red light on your HC06 Bluetooth module should go from flashing to solid red to indicate that it's connected. And just like that, Tuner Studio has connected. Voila! My gauges are acting a little funky here just because I have the Speedwino firmware running on an Arduino without the Speedwino ECU connected to it currently, just because it's a in my apartment for testing purposes for this video.